This is what it looks like to use an anvil normally. I got these two iron pickaxes with unbreaking one, and this is what you got. Unbreaking two. Woo. But this is what the anvils are going to look like later in this video. Here, check this out. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack here. Yeah, basically, we just kind of reinvented the whole entire anvil just to make it overpowered. And the best part is, this is what the items look like after you use the anvil. Oh boy. We have a pickaxe with thousands of enchantment levels. And the sword, millions! Oh wait, there's another right hoe. And it has... What? Pause. This is Minecraft, but anvils are overpowered. In this video, I've completely reinvented the anvil in order to give it special abilities that will make my weapons, tools, and armor ridiculously powerful. Will I be able to beat the game with the craziest powers? Watch to find out. Also, be sure to check if you're subscribed and like the video because according to YouTube statistics, you most likely aren't. Enjoy the video and I hope you have a great day. Three, two, one. Uh, we're in a tree. We gotta get down somehow. You know what? Instead, I'm just gonna go and get the wood. Let's get three logs right here. Yeah, this is a great start, isn't it? Oh, uh, nothing more nice than seeing absolutely no villages at all and being on top of a tree like a strayed cat. Let's just do this. I'm gonna go and make just straight up. The first thing we're gonna do is just make a spruce boat. I don't care. I guess the next thing that we should do is jump off. Oh! Ooh, we're off to a good start. We should actually like get like tools and stuff. I think that would be like a great start. Let's stop lollygagging around. Let's go and get our stone tools. Here we go. Let's just keep running, I guess. We got to get out of this forest, man. I would want a village. I just want some nice resources, a great head start or something, please. And also food because I'm hungry. Let's keep moving on. Now, obviously, if you haven't read the title already, which I have no idea how you would possibly not read the title at all, uh, it has to do something with anvils. We got to go and get a lot of anvils and a lot of iron today, okay? And there are some custom crafts that I've added into the game in order for us to get a lot of iron, which is really, really nice. And also, the anvils in general are just really, really cool. And it would give us a lot of different upgrades that we'll get into later on. We just need to get an anvil first, which means that, yes, we're going to have to go and get a little bit of iron. And yes, we're going I have to go and cave for a bit. That is fine. Oh, is that a cave? Oh, cave. Yes. And iron. This is the block that we need. A lot of this, really. One piece of iron is the start of something absolutely incredible. This is history in the making. Let's get more iron here, shall we? Here we go. All right, we got our iron. I'm gonna leave. Let's get out of here. I also got some extra iron, by the way, so we could go and uh, get full iron armor, which is really, really nice, you know, considering that it's probably nighttime out there and there's gonna be a lot of scary, spooky mobs and that's not okay. Oh, there's sheep right here. Bah! That's how you get a bed. And we make a bed. So if creepy monsters are in our path, then we could go and just make them burn from the sun. Anyways, now that we have, you know, a lot of iron ore and we're on the surface, we are going to go and smelt the remainder of the iron. Here we go. And we have our 48 iron. You know what that means? Three of these block boys. Boom. And then we make the anvil. This is gonna be the block that will change everything. The GUI is stacked, I gotta tell you, man. You think the old Anvil GUI is cool? Well, this, this is interesting, man. <laughs> Let's just get started, shall we? All right, this might be a little daunting to some of you. I know there's a lot going on on the screen right now. Let's just follow through with this slowly, okay? Let's just start off with the basics, okay? Let's just get two little wooden hoes, okay? I'm gonna use this wooden hoe just a bit. It has some durability usage on it. There you go. Now, this is how you could use the anvil normally, like this. It has been repaired now, but that is not the only feature that this anvil has to offer. I mean, can you tell? I basically added a feature to the anvil where you could upgrade it. And the more you upgrade it, the more abilities you could use from the anvil. And it's really, really good. The catch here is that we actually have to feed it even more iron. It takes like 31 iron ingots to make an anvil. It might sound like that's a lot of iron, but guess what? We need even more iron. And I'm not even joking. We need to feed this thing, dude. Now, the first way we could feed it is by leveling it up using iron nuggets we just do this <laughs> okay some some green just flashed up out of nowhere though so you might be a little confused but we just basically upgraded our anvil okay the more we upgrade the more abilities that we get and the ability that we got is this 
This is just the first level, and we already have max enchantments. Maximize all enchantment levels for the item. So basically, uh, the first thing that we need after getting our first level of, of anvil, we need to get an enchantment table. Oh boy, this is like the third video in a row that we actually need an enchantment table pretty early on. But it's gonna be worth it, trust me. This is gonna be the catalyst to something amazing. Let's go and hold this anvil real quick. We'll, we'll hold on to it. Let's just go and get some diamonds real quick. We'll get some uh, obsidian. It's not gonna take too long. I don't think so. Let's go and grind for it. I need to find some uh, sugar cane as well for the book, for that enchantment table. So I'm gonna keep running around this river and see if we could find something. Come on, sugar cane. Where's the sugar cane at? Yes, there's some sugar cane right here. Okay, very, very nice. Here we go. Let's dunk this real quick. All we need is just one book. Let's also find some leather around the area. Hi, Kyle. Ooh. Okay, we got our leather. Now we could go and make the book. Paper time and now book time. Very, very nice. Now that we have our book, I will literally mine straight down in order for us to go and find diamonds. Easy peasy. Let's go. I've mined so far down and I think we're around like diamond area now. I also hear some lava. I think there's going to be a cave nearby. Oh, yes, there's a cave. Yes. Is there any diamonds though? That's the real question. Oh, there's some lapis here. That's pretty good. I still would like some diamonds though. Oh my, what is this? Oh, <gasps> yes. Diamonds. Okay, how many? Oh, it is enough. Oh, it is enough. Yes. All right, this is perfect for us. This is guaranteed an enchantment table. This is really good. All right, let's go and make a diamond pickaxe right now. There you go. Very, very nice. I hear some lava nearby. Let's go to the lava real quick. Here's the lava. Oh, it's a bit of a ravine. Oh boy. We're gonna go and get our obsidian this way. Let's go mine four obsidian. Here we go. And there you go. We got four obsidian. And now I'm gonna enter this thing right here because I do not want a creeper just completely blowing me up. That would be horrible. Especially right after getting an enchantment table. Now that we have our four obsidian, we're gonna go and do this. And crafting moment. Nice. We got an enchanting table and also our anvil now that we have everything that we need to go in advance for something amazing we're gonna do this boom and boom we have efficiency one now what's amazing is that we could also do this now that we have level one with the max enchant ability we're gonna do this i'm gonna go and put my pickaxe on the anvil and then i'm gonna enable the ability and apply efficiency five Woohoo! yes also this is what happens if we have efficiency five Oh, 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 bang, bang, bang. Blue pickaxe, but fast. It is at its maximum. And we could also do it with the other enchantments too. We could get an ax as well. Let's put efficiency on it. Max enchantments again. And it's also efficiency five. Anything we have on it will just be maximized because we have the ability. It's very, very good. Now, keep in mind, we're just getting started. This is just the first level out of the five that we have today. By the end of this video, it's gonna get to a OP insane level. That It's just gonna be out of this world, all right? That OP enchantment video that we had a few videos back. Yeah, that, that's nothing compared to today's video. <laughs> yes! By the way, on top of what we already have right now, we also have some other stuff that we could go and get. There's also uh, custom crafts that we have. We could go and make a special book with the crafting table. We could go and make this. We can make steel one. Let me show you what steel one does. I'm gonna go do this. Apply. This iron pickaxe has steel one, all right? Now you might be wondering, what does steel one do, hmm? A custom enchantment, huh? All right, let's see what this has to offer. Steel one does this. You can get iron from any block you mine. This is going to be really good for upgrading, all right? Which means that we should probably get a lot more paper and a lot more iron in order for us to get more steel. Because if we get more steel, it's going to be a very, very nice time for us. Now, steel one is just the beginning, all right? There is different tiers of steel. We have to get more sugar can, though. We're going to have to go to the surface eventually. But I guess for right now, we could go and just mine for a little bit more and get a little bit more stuff. Just a bit more iron, you know? Maybe we could get one more stack of iron so we could get level two. A level two anvil and that's gonna be really nice for us all right let's go and mine for a bit all right i just finally got oh boy a stack of iron ore and also more we're going to the surface now i think i'm done we're gonna go and smelt a bunch of iron. Just a lot of iron i'm gonna go and make even more for an eye we have like 12 for an eye just ready to go all right let's go and get all of our iron ingots here we go very nice boom we have a stack of iron ingots. Very, very nice. Now that we have a stack, we can go and upgrade. 64 iron ingots for level two. We can do this. Boom. Oh, we have a new ability. What is the new ability? 
Enchant randomizer. Adds a random enchantment to the item? I just have efficiency five. What a... Wait. Unbreaking one. Again. Fortune one. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What if we combine the powers together of both abilities? Ooh. Fortune three and breaking three. Yes! Add more! Add all of it! Oh, we have mending as well. Might as well just max it out. Well, we have a very, very nice diamond pickaxe already. This is really, really good. We could also do the same with the diamond axe, I'm pretty sure. Uh, soak touch to it, unbreaking to what? Level two is, uh, is, is a pretty nice one, you know? Now that I have, you know, efficiency, I also have fortune. Oh boy, we could get a lot of diamonds that way if we go and find a diamond ore or all that type of stuff. Oh, by the way, I just realized a five head move, okay? I'm thinking about that one enchantment that we have, all right? I'm thinking about steel. Since steel is mining based, you know, every time you mine, you get a just a, just a bit of iron. What if we just go and break like the easiest blocks to mine? The blocks that are just, just an instant break like this. Oh, it still gives iron. Okay, very nice. Okay, we need to think. What's the tool that we could use to break a block the fastest? Probably the leaves. It's literally everywhere. And we're going to need a hoe. Let's go and get some more uh, grass, by the way. Because I've, I've kind of ran out of paper. Let's find some sugar can. I'll take all our stuff with us, okay? Luckily, we have a efficiency five, so it won't take any time. Let's go this direction. This is a new direction. Oh, yes! We got some sugar cane! Woo! Thank you! Okay, this will yield us two books. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I just realized we could make a different type of book, all right? We can make an upgraded version of what we have already of steel. We have steel one, but we could go and make steel two. I've realized we could go and use our block of iron to go and progress by doing this. Steel two. Boom. Very, very nice. I'm actually just gonna add steel to this pickaxe right now. Steel too. Let me tell you what's interesting about steel, by the way. I'm pretty sure some people are like, oh, just, just max it out. Max the enchantments out. It's a special type of enchantment, unfortunately. The only way for us to get more upgraded versions of steel is by crafting more complicated books. We need more sugar cane. This is what steel two does, by the way. I think steel one just gave us one iron nugget, but now it's giving us like multiple. This is really good. All right, we have over a stack of iron nuggets. We could go and convert it into our iron ingots, which would allow us to get closer to level three. That's pretty good. All right, this is what we're gonna do now, all right? Now that we can make steel two, we are gonna go and do this. We're gonna go and enchant an iron hoe right here. And then I'm also gonna go and place down the anvil and we're gonna have extra enchantments on it with our enchantment randomizer. We now have fortune, but we also have more fortune. We got mending on it, very, very nice. Now we also have efficiency on our iron hoe. Now we could go and max it out. Efficiency five, very, very good. This is gonna be really good because we're gonna go ham with our steel two, combine it, and we have this iron hoe. Now that we have this iron hoe, we could go insane crazy with the uh, the leaves. It's instantly broken. We could go absolutely ham and we could get so much iron from it. And then we could go and just convert it into ingots, just like this. Oh my gosh, that yielded us so much iron ingots, just like that. Very, very nice. Let's keep going. Oh, my ho my hole broke. And we have uh so much iron nuggies. Oh my goodness. In conclusion, one iron hoe equivalents to uh yeah, a, a lot of iron, a lot of iron. Okay. Let's convert it into uh, you know, some iron ingots. Boom, boom, boom. Four stacks of iron. That is really really good. We could convert all of that into 28 blocks of iron. Holy crap. Which could also allow us to get many different anvils. I mean, boom. We got seven anvils now. I think we could actually just get the maxed out version of steel. There's five different levels of steel. Yeah, we could just go straight to level five. We'll just skip three and four. Oh, we need more sugar cane. So we're going to go over here real quick. Let's go get some sugar cane. Here we go. There you go. Very nice. Let's go and turn this into paper. There you go. And then this is what makes this very interesting. Now, this is steel too. However... This is actually steel three, but we could go even further with steel four. However, since we have seven Allen Vols, I think we just go straight to we could go to steel five. I think we should probably get another iron hoe. <laughs> Let's just make one more iron hoe right here. All right. With our maxed out version of steel. All right. Let's get the enchantment table out and let us go and get efficiency and unbreaking one. Now that we have that as well, we'll place the amazing overpowered anvil. And then we're going to go and just add this here. 
steel five with efficiency one and unbreaking one. Let's max it out as well. There you go. Efficiency five, unbreaking three. Now that we have that, we could go and get even more iron and that's gonna be amazing for us see this we got iron nuggets from the uh you know the steel two enchantment that, that's pretty cool but what's interesting about steel five is that it's actually just iron ingots now just a bunch of iron ingots just all of it iron ingots everywhere yeah we'll get a lot of anvils let's go grind for a lot of iron ingots let's do this iron production has never been so high let's go I just broke my iron hoe. It's done. We have, we have, oh my God. <laughs> what is this inventory? Uh, this is a bit different from uh, iron nuggies. This is a much different experience. Holy crap, dude. Let's just go back. All right, we're back. We have, uh, you know, just a bit of iron. Let's just convert it all into blocks. Oh, that's a lot. Now that we have a lot of iron, we could go and upgrade our anvil even more. Now it says that for level three, we need 15 blocks of iron. Definitely have that. <laughs> and uh we have oh we need 30 blocks of iron for level four. Oh, okay let me just let me just feed that even more all right cool the final level to have the most overpowered anvil level five we need 64 blocks of iron now i uh i, I definitely have that we just zoop through all of the upgrades usually it would gradually get more and more overpowered throughout the video but this is this is just crazy drastic fast we have a fully decked out anvil and we have three new upgrades that we haven't even tried yet we have additive enchantments combines enchantment levels instead of upgrading them we have netherite plating upgrades any item to netherite and we have <laughs> enchant multiplier which doubles all enchantment levels on the item when i said that this video was going to be crazy crazy fast in terms of just progress uh this is what i meant that last ability is insane all right we'll get to that in a bit let's try uh you know let, let's mess around with the two other ones though let's start with additive enchants okay it combines the enchantment level instead of upgrading them normally all right L let me just give you an example of what this means all right let's get these two iron pickaxes right efficiency five and also efficiency five with you know a bunch of other enchantments these two pickaxes have now if i upgrade them again do i get efficiency six no 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 i get oh god efficiency 10 this is what efficiency 10 looks like by the way Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's pretty fast. That's a really cool level three ability, but you know what? You know what's cooler than that? Adding netherite on top of it, all right? Let's go and just do this. It's an iron pickaxe right now, but you know what? I'm going to just turn it into a netherite pickaxe now. This is a really, really nice pickaxe, by the way. It is pretty cool right now, but it's not going to be as cool as what's going to be coming, all right? This is going to be the craziest one out of all of them, all right? This is going to be the most insane ability that we'll ever have. Here we go. This is enchant multiplier it doubles the enchantment levels all right we have netherite pickaxe now just just take a good glance of all of the enchantments that we have currently right now but this is nothing in comparison to what we're gonna do to this pickaxe right now if we enable this it's now 20 it's now 40 let's do five right here it's it's 640 a thousand two thousand 5,000! Let's keep going! 10,000, 20, 40, 81, 163, 327. It just keeps going! Oh! 20 million! Oh! This is 20 million! All right, that's cool, man. Let's keep going. This is the real OP part of the anvil, all right? We're at one quintillion efficiency. We've maxed it out. The efficiency is now at its ideal peak. This is the best pickaxe you'll ever see in all of Minecraft. Out of all of my videos, this is it. We have a 6.9 quintillion pickaxe. Now we made a little hole here. Well, what if we just do this? Oh, oh my God. Oh, there's diamonds right here. We have eight diamonds. Let's get a little bit more diamonds. Actually, we don't need diamonds. You know why? We could plate it with netherite. That's just the beginning though. Wait, does it break bedrock? Does it... It's, bra <laughs> it's breaking the bedrock, dude. Let's get other cool items as well. All right, let's get some cooler items. Let's go and upgrade our, our armor, our axes, our shovels, everything. We can go and expand our OP items. All right, let's go up. Let's play it. <laughs> We're playing everything. Oh my God, the tools. 
I did some off-camera anvil combining, and I've created my loadout, all right? There's a lot of stuff to unpack here. Let's start with Bob, our netherite helmet with, jeez, man, blast protection 6.9 quintillion and all the other enchantments. And then we go from Bob to Boob to Boob to Bob. And then we go to Chad, our nice netherite sword with a lot of, you know, enchantments. Oh, boy. And then we go to Lad and then Rad and Brad and then Bartholomew. Yeah, we got a really nice setup. We could leave now. Let's just go and cut some trees real quick. I need to get some wood. Unfortunately, I have a lack of wood. Let's just go and like chop this forest down real quick. Okay, that's not what I expected, but okay. I did not expect for me to literally chop down the whole forest. Let's go down here real quick. Let's go all the way to the lava real quick. Here we go. We are going to go and get some obsidian. Yeah, let's go and get the obsidian. There you go. Oh, that's a lot of obsidian. All right. We're just going to go and make the portal right now. Let's go and make that portal. Very nice. And we enter the nether. And now we go here. Let's find the fortress. Oh, oh. Or that too, you know. We could just also have this bastion that's literally here. Let's go to the bastion now. Hop. Oh, let's go right here. I'm here to take your gold. Yes. Let's take more gold. Why not? Is there any nearby? Like a trade with, please. Anyone around the area? Hey, yo. There's some of you. Hey, guys. How you doing? Let's trade with the pig boys right here. Very nice. Take that, please. Please, please don't hit. Please, please don't hit. Oh, no. Oh my god, I'm so overpowered. I keep accidentally killing everything. <sighs> this is difficult. I guess we'll just try again. Let's just wear the gold boots in the meantime. All right, lads, hello. Go in here, please. Very nice, thank you. I've killed like all of the piglins. What the heck did I do? I'm left with one piglin left. Okay, let's let's relocate. Oh, I got some pearls though. That's pretty cool. Let's take the pearls. We have seven pearls right now. Let's get a little bit more though. Let's be very, very careful right here. Hello, piglins. Enter my trading hole. Come on, keep trading, guys. Come on, pearls, please, pearls. I've killed like half of your population. At least give me something nice in return. Yes, more pearls. Thank you. Come on, a little bit more now. More pearls. There you go. Very nice. <gasps> yes, pearls. Oh, even more pearls. Beautiful. I think I, I have all my pearls now. I'm going to just... Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I'm done with this bastion. Let's get out of here. Oh my God. What happened to this place, dude? Let's find the fortress. Let's go. Yes, the fortress. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I see the blaze spawner right there. Let's go. Hello, blazes. Let's get some blaze rods. Okay. Oh, you know, we, we could do it that way. Sure. Oh, yes. That's nine blaze rods now. I, you know what? I, I'm going to leave. Let's get out of here. Let's go and make our nether portal now. Here we go. Let's just terraform this whole entire area real quick. And then we place this obsidian right here. And then we leave. Let's leave now. There you go. Oh my gosh. An ocean. Let's go and add the ingredients together to make eyes of ender. Boom. Oh, it's that way. I'm going to throw it. Oh, it goes this way now. Oh, wow. That's huge. It has to be over that mountain. It's so close. Let's throw this. It has to be like right here. Oh, it went down. Yeah, it went down. Yes, yes, yes. Now we enter the stronghold. Let's do this. Here we go. This is how we're going to enter the stronghold. Here we are. We're here now. We're here. Yes. I'll, I'll just break it through here. Oh, it's right here. There's the portal. Yes. Okay. Slam. Now we enter the portal. Let's do this. Here we go. It's time and I'm ready. Oh, oh boy. Okay. You know what? Throughout this whole entire time that I've been thinking while running towards the stronghold, I have a strategy in my head. It's called the headbutt strategy. Goodbye, weapons. I'm going to use my head to kill the dragon. She's going down. Now that we're here, it's time to headbutt. Here we go. Three. Two, one, here we go! Yes! That's how you do it! Absolutely zero effort! What is that? Yes! And that is how you kill the dragon. What is that ending? We're getting so overpowered that all of this is just completely effortless. Well, let's just go and take this. We got the dragon egg. Oh my god, it's gone again! Uh, oops. Am I stuck here? No! I guess there's one way to leave. I'm just gonna leave! Goodbye, world! There's no way out! 
And there's that challenge. Well, that was fun though. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.